President Biden is heading to Brussels to attend a NATO leader summit and a European Union summit. Also on Thursday, the president will attend a G7 meeting to further discuss the war in Ukraine with allies and partners. The NATO summit on March 24th will focus on ongoing deterrence and defense efforts related to the Russia invasion into Ukraine, and in part reaffirm the U.S.'s ironclad commitment to the alliance, which is something that the White House says a lot. And then the European Council summit, which was a previously scheduled summit, will involve discussions about Ukraine and specifically efforts to penalize Russia and provide humanitarian support to Ukraine. So White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters that Biden's goal is really to meet in person face to face with his European counterparts and talk about and assess where they are in this conflict, you know, where they are in the sanctions they've imposed and where they are in supporting Ukraine. So far, the White House has really touted the work that the president has done with European counterparts. Uh, We've been incredibly aligned uh, to date. That doesn't happen by accident. The president's a big believer in face-to-face diplomacy, so it's an opportunity to do exactly that. Part of this trip, I think, will, in that respect, likely involve demonstrating solidarity with NATO allies, especially those that border Ukraine. The president, as I mentioned, has been in regular contact with European leaders about the invasion, just uh, recently announced plans with the group of seven leaders to revoke Russia's most favored nation trade status. That was a big uh, announcement out of the White House. Um, And then there's also questions about uh, his contact with President Zelensky of Ukraine and if that will be part of this trip to Brussels. You know, the, the president is in constant contact with Zelensky, it seems like almost on a daily basis. He just spoke to Congress, notably, you know, requesting a no-fly zone over Ukraine. That's something that the president has pushed back on and not wanted to put in place. So there's right now no plans for Zelensky and Biden to meet in person while the president's over in Brussels. But the White House has not really taken anything off the table or totally closed the door to that idea while they're still finally finalizing details of the trip. On Friday, he will travel to Warsaw, Poland. The president then on Saturday, while in Poland, will be meeting with the president of Poland and discuss with him how the U.S. and allies and partners are responding to the humanitarian crisis and human rights crisis that Russia's invasion has created. Overall, this is the president's first trip to Europe since the invasion started, but this is his third trip since taking office uh, to Europe. And the administration has sent other senior officials over to Europe during this conflict. Most recently, you know, the vice president went to Poland and Romania, and that trip really involved reaffirming support for NATO and meeting with leaders and the presidents of those two countries about the war in Ukraine.